How you guys doing? So, today's video, the idea for it was actually, I actually had it a while ago. I guess I didn't have it. One of you guys uh, sent me this a bit ago, and it was when I made the video where I took my softline water tubing build or softline tubing build and 3D printed some guides for it to make it look like hard iron tubing and I put some RGB in the in the hardest way possible. I used individual bulbs. It was a it was it looked cool but it was a total nightmare. But it turned out good and I liked how it looked. At least the second version, the first iteration was a little sketch, but second time around it looked pretty good and I remember somebody sent me a link to a product that is sold by Cooler Master that kind of does the same thing and at the time they're like you should try to make this and I wanted to but I didn't have the setup required because you need a hard line build for it because he sent me this. This is like um, hardline RGB, basically it's ARGB lighting for hardline tubing from Cooler Master. Now I don't know how you go about getting it because I can't find anywhere it's sold. It looks like it's made to order and it's only available for straight tubing. But essentially it's a 3D printed bracket with an ARGB strip in it and boom you got RGB lights. And I was like wow that's pretty straightforward and I definitely could make something like this. Uh, the only thing I don't like about their setup is these are enclosed rings, so you got to put it on before you have your tubing. I think we can do better. I think we can make it like a, a clip-on type deal, and I think we should try to do these two runs, these straight runs, uh, see how it looks, and maybe if it if it turns out halfway decent, we can we could probably step through the whole thing. Uh, but essentially, we can try to do these two runs because I got some uh, ARGB lights. So these are the W2812B. RGBs, I, that sounds like a question because I can't exactly remember, but I'll put it on the screen. Got some RGB lights, I got a little Arduino, and that's essentially all we're gonna need, some soldering skills and some wire, and obviously a 3D printer, but once we get it all said and done, we'll take a look at it, see what it looks like, and then I'll also make uh, versions of this in different sizes, probably step it out in 50 to 100 millimeter sections, so you guys could go on there, print out your own version for your tubing. Obviously, the one I'm gonna make is for this tubing, but it could be easily modified to different Hardline tubing diameters, diameters, diameters to fit what you got. And if it looks that good, we can come back and try to do bends. But I guess the first thing we gotta do is design it, which should be pretty straightforward. It'll probably take four seconds. So I'll be back in five. And we're back. For the most part, quite simple. Just a little two millimeter thick piece of plastic to get some flexibility on the ends. You got two half C's, pretty standard. And then I also put these little ears kind of down the edges because this does have an adhesive back, but sometimes it's a little sus. So we're, uh, we got that on there just to help it out. But now we just want to see, does it fit as we plan? Oh, nice. Nice little satisfying click. And the bottom one goes on this one just like so. Nice. And the idea here is we want to try to see as little as possible of the RGB diode. We just want to see the nice glow through this tubing and luckily I have this opaque white fluid which should help to fuse the light a little bit but essentially that's what the plan is and I was now originally I was like I'm going to use an Arduino but then I was like why overcomplicate it while well, it was printing I can literally plug it into this unused three pin header on my motherboard so I got a little three pin cable here and I'm going to clip I don't even need to clip it off I can get just plug in this side solder it to the RGB and I'm gonna probably go from Oh, how much, how, how much, how much cable do we have here? Eh, you can probably reach. I'll probably go from this side up to this side, so I'll just cascade it along. So the idea here is if I did all of them, I could essentially follow the flow. So the flow goes out here, in here. It'll come out this one, through the graphics card, into this one. So you could kind of set up the lights to do like a, if you wanted to use an Arduino, you could do, you know, kind of like the same thing you see up here, which is not even on, but if it was on, there's a... There's a demo version where it runs back and forth. One sec, I'll turn it on. All right, there you go. I, I, it'll, it'll happen eventually, but eventually you'll see there's a little pew pew type of deal that makes any sense. You know what I mean. So now let's put some RGB lights in there and see how it fits in our little, our little doodad here. It's a little tight, but that's the idea. It actually fits not too bad without the adhesive strip, but I'll use the adhesive just because it'll improve the situation. I think I'm gonna solder it though first before that because PLA is, you know, it doesn't like heat. So let me solder some wire on here and snap it in there and we'll we'll see how it looks. Should be pretty straightforward, to tell you the truth. Shabooski. So uh, literally the hardest part of this whole deal is probably gonna be plugging this cable in because uh, my big fat hands can't fit. Stand by. Yeah, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, we got it, we got it, perfect. 
little bit of white light. So I guess, as you can see, I, I didn't chain them. I just used the, the two legs of this uh, RGB cable because why not? It makes it easy. And we're kind of just testing this, uh, testing this out. But let's see. Oh, I like it. Okay, let me let me put these where they're supposed to be here. So excuse me, thank you. Actually, I got them stuck on there now. Kind of impressed by the adhesive quality. Uh, sticks pretty good to that PLA. So I didn't say this is. I'm using black PLA, so it blends in with the rest of the system since most of it's black. And so far, I haven't got it in there yet, but liking what I see so far. Let me put it in there, and you guys take a look. Okay, full disclosure, I had wanted to try this when I seen the product from Cooler Master, and now I can understand why it's a product, because it's freaking sweet. I didn't think it would, I didn't think it would actually look that cool, really. And it's so easy to make, obviously, if you have a, a 3D printer, you, you need that, but if you do, I mean, it's, it's a quick print. It, printing both of those uh, at 3.3 layer height only took like 45 minutes on my Prusa. So the, the printing was quick. The assembly is like non-existent. This is literally like one of the easiest mods you can do. And it's very non-intrusive too. Like the, when I did the water or the uh, soft line uh, custom loop deal, that was a lot of work. And that's kind of where I was thinking this would be. I was like, oh dude, it's, uh, it'll be cool looking. Yeah, but how much work is it going to be? And it, will it really be worth it? But given the fact that that's literally like no work, you mean print it out, peel a sticker, a little bit of soldering, I guess. Uh, plug it in profit it's not bad now don't get me wrong you start doing uh, bends like if I want to do up and over and down more works involved than just straight straight shots but that being said I mean it's not impossible and I think I don't know you uh, what do you think should I should I go all in and try to RGB every single tube in here that might be too much but it is pretty cool. And actually, for you guys out there, if you, this is something you want to do, I'm going to, uh, I'll make these models available to you guys. So I'll put it on my Thingiverse account. I'll make some different length ones, uh, all straight shots, but I'll make like uh, 100, 200, 300. I'll make some, some millimeters uh, differences so you can kind of print out what you need and you can piece it together the way you want. And then I'll also just put the, the raw model on there. So if you uh, have some design software, you can take it, cut it, manipulate it, uh, literally just copy it if you want and custom make it to your to whatever size you need but it'll be on my Thingiverse account for any of you guys want to try it actually does look pretty sweet and if you're an RGB fan like myself I, I, let's be honest I do like RGB it looks cool even though right now it's just uh, cycling through colors but it's so mesmerizing but anyway I'll put it out there for you guys go check it out if you want it download it until next time peace and if you're still here I bet, how long have you been staring at that thing? So that is, uh, that is exactly what it looks like. It is uh, like a model of a high, I think it's the Rolls-Royce engine or maybe one of the GE engines. It's a high bypass fan model. And I've been working on that for a long time. Like I was, I, I originally started that. I found it on Thingiverse, obviously. Uh, I didn't design it, found it on Thingiverse. And I was like, I want to print that out. That looks sweet. And it was back when I only had the TiVo. Uh, the TiVo, for some, whatever reason, I mean, I tried I tried everything I could. Couldn't get the model accurate enough that it would interlock. Because these are all individual pieces, and you you put them together. And then I got the Delta, and the Delta was it was close. I started doing it. I was hammering all the fans in there. They're real tight. Uh, but then it just started breaking on me, so I gave up. And then the Prusa came. I gave it another shot, and the Prusa, let's be honest, it's a good printer, and it prints very accurately for what it costs and what it is enough that I could actually print that out and you know for a fact that now that I have that we are going to put a motor in it and we're going to try to cool something we're going to we're going to do something with it we're going to spin it up see what it will see how it works as an actual fan it was literally meant to just be a model but you know I can't just like not try to spin that up and see what it does so 
If that's something you want to see, make sure to get subscribed. If you're still here, thanks for uh, watching in that long. And go get this model. Give it a try. That looks actually cool. Till next time. Again. Till next time again. Bye.